economies in South America, North Africa and Southwest Asia shrank by 5%. Unemployment rate tripled. These countries were going through a financial crisis. In July 2020, Facebook launched a new currency, the Libra coin, a digital currency that's exchangeable for fiat currency. Over the following four years, Libra gained accelerating popularity. This happened for two reasons. Libra was seen to be more stable than the weak local currencies in these countries because 100% of the value of the Libra coin is backed by safe liquid assets. The second reason is that Libra made moving money around the world as easy and cheap as sending a text message, no matter where you lived, what you did, and how much you earned. Or as their white paper stated in June 2019. You see, once people started buying Libra on a large scale, they were also selling their local currency on a large scale to buy those Libras. Therefore, demand for local currency decreases, and the value of the local currency depreciates. But as the value of the local currency falls, even more people start to sell their local currency because they anticipate it will fall even further, a situation similar to a speculative attack. In normal circumstances, a central bank has a monopoly over the money supply, or how much money is available in the country. This helps the central bank fulfill two important roles that are relevant to what happened. During troublesome times, the central bank can increase nominal income of the people in the country by increasing the money supply. This increases spending and counters cyclical economic slowdown, expansionary monetary policy. The central bank can also lend to banks in situations of crises as the lender of last resort. But with the abandonment of the local currency, the central banks lost their ability to fulfill these roles. Banks that only dealt with Libra started to show up. People deposited their money there because these banks paid interest while the Libra Association did not. Given the digital nature of the Libra coin, it was very difficult to enforce strict and prudent financial regulation on these banks. Two factors were at play leading to the crisis. Imprudent lending by Libra banks and misallocation of capital, which itself was accelerated by a lack of an exchange rate risk and the ease of transferring Libra across borders. As the future started to unfold, the consequences of misallocations were realized. Many assets lost their values, leading many businesses to go bust. The loans that Libra banks made were not being repaid, with no lender of last resort in place. Banks suffered a liquidity crisis. Bank runs started to occur, leading to bank failures and people losing their wealth, leading to an economic slowdown. This is how it happened.